Today's video, we are gonna talk about how to get PPC clients. The real no BS answer from a seven figure agency owner. So if you're trying to start a PPC agency, okay? Like I started out 10 years ago, and you were wondering how you actually start getting your first clients. That's exactly what I'm gonna cover in today's video. So you understand exactly what I did to get our agency started and get it built up to where we're at today. Granted, it's not a get rich quick scheme. It does still take a lot of work, but if you wanna know how to put the work in the right way that will get results, I will tell you what that is in this video. I've tried it all, practically speaking. I know with, with that, what works and what doesn't work, and I don't have no course to sell you on how to, you know, in the description of this video on how to actually, you know, do it and only giving you part of the information like most other information that's on this topic, you're either gonna get people that are gonna tell you just buy this course or, oh, I just get all my clients from referrals, which is crap. You, you have to get clients to get referrals. And of course, everybody wants to know how you get the clients. Yes, eventually get some referrals, but even then it's not your entire book of business comes from just referrals like people say, are saying it is. That's not actually accurate. It's a answer that you hear most people say, by the way, because it sounds good. Oh, we're so good, we don't even have to market ourselves. In reality, that's not what's going on. If it sounds like you're desperate, nobody wants to hire you, nobody wants to look desperate. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna give you what the real advice, not the BS advice as per what the title of this video shows, so you understand how to do, if you wanna build a seven-figure business for yourself, you'll know exactly how to do it. I'm Corey Zyman, owner of Guaranteed PPC, a PPC agency, online advertising agency that manages not just Google ads, but all online ads, and been doing it for 10 years already, of which we offer guaranteed results for our clients, which nobody else is doing. I'm gonna talk about that in today's video, such as you know what the guarantee we're offering, why that's actually helped us become successful, why it gets people so excited to do business with you? Because basically nobody else is willing to offer any kind of warranty, guarantee anything on what on what they're doing. You can't really guarantee an outcome, but you can guarantee that you don't take a management fee until you've gotten them some minimum results. And that shows you have skin in the game. Nobody that else in this industry wants to put skin in the game. They just want paid. That, when most people that you're trying to sell to have gotten scammed several times already by other marketing people, makes it extremely hard to get them to hire you, unless you got a big name already. And that is another kind of route you go with things. And I'll talk about that on this video as well. So anyway, with that said, if you watch to the end of this video, I will tell you about how profitable these methods are, cost per lead, using these methods, closing rates, lifetime value of a client, therefore ROI of your campaign that you're gonna run. You know, so if you, when you know you go ahead and put this work in or execute these strategies, what well, you're gonna stand to make. I will say right off the bat, one thing I did not mention in this particular video, because I don't think it's that successful, at least anymore, is you can actually run PPC ads for your PPC agency. I've heard a few people talking about this, and if you're just starting out, you're a really good PPC guy, you're not charging very much because you're just trying to get your name out there. It actually is pretty good because the people on Google search advertising are charging low rates, but the service quality is garbage. Because, and with that, for that matter, it's not sustainable offering good results for 500 bucks a month. You know, when you start out with very little reputation, it's kind of like what's necessary to get the ball rolling. Your goal is to eventually charge thousands a month because that's what it takes to offer a decent service. Because anymore when it comes to PPC, it's not just clicking a few buttons in the ad account. You gotta understand making how to make ads, campaigns, landing pages, tracking, revenue tracking, phone call tracking, looking at the lead quality that's coming in. Use that to tweak your ads. All of it works together to get you the overall outcome. That and also remarketing, which I talk about all the time on this channel. To do all that for 500 bucks a month is stupid to even offer that. What you're really doing to do PPC right is you're basically a marketing firm. Interviewing the client, finding out what clients or customers are looking for, and you're crafting an overall sales funnel for them if it's actually gonna work. Yeah, you can once in a while get clients who are just gonna say, I just need a $30 cost per lead and I got the landing page and I got the tracking and I understand our sales process and all I know all this stuff and you just gotta get the ad to actually produce that and you're done. That doesn't happen enough 
per what it costs to get a new client using these methods or another method that you come up with to justify doing it. You got to get the client, you got to do all this other stuff because they're going to screw up the other parts, including the sales process, explaining to them you can't just answer a lead whenever the hell you figure out, feel like it. You can't just have a secretary answer the phone and have no defined sales process. And it's, you got to consult the client on these other aspects of it. Otherwise, you're just going to churn clients and it's not even profitable to do that anymore. Frankly, you either have to provide the full solution to get them the results and to keep the client long term for years and years where the money is. It's not profitable. And for that matter, just to let you know up front, if I don't have a client that I can see lasts more than a year, it's a waste of time working with them because the money is keeping them for five years, 10 years, not six months. At least if you're trying to legitimately do it the right way. I mean, if you're doing no work, you can take their money and use their money to get another client, which a lot of bozos are doing. But even that, it's not profitable because it's so expensive to get a client. I don't even know, unless you're getting a client somehow through like free or near free, free methods, that is not even going to pay either. So not anymore. There's too much competition. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying about the PPC ads, you can run ads for PPC services, PPC agencies on Google search. The problem with it nowadays compared to when I, I was doing it back in like 2016 is the cost per click went way up. Instead of paying 10 bucks a click with a good ad, now you're having to pay 40. The cost per lead is four times as high. So instead of getting a client for a thousand bucks, now it's going to cost you 5,000. And these are clients that you cannot charge thousands a month typically. Not to say it's impossible, nothing ever is. When everybody else they're getting quotes from is 500 bucks a month, which is basically what you're going to be up against, you can't make a sale at a very good rate. And when you're only charging 500 bucks a month and the cost per click is 40 bucks a click, the math doesn't math anymore, which is why we didn't do it. If you're just starting out, you have a cheap price, good quality service that you can offer that's better than the competition at that cheap price, just to get the ball rolling that you're not going to really make much, if anything, or break even, you can do that for a while. The other reason why Google search ads for PPC agencies themselves is because you used to be able to target an exact match exactly the keywords you wanted. PPC agency, PPC services. Now you got to run the ads for a while, add a whole crap ton of negative keywords so that it actually shows up for the right thing and you're going to burn 10, 20 grand worth of wasted ad spend before it actually shows up for those exact phrases, which are the phrases that work. Okay, frankly, just to lay it all out there. And then it can work, but again, you're still not gonna charge very much. Ultimately, the people that are coming through there are seeing you as a commodity. There's 50 people on Google that they know it and you're seeing it as a commodity. If you're not gonna do exactly what I want for the cheap price that I want it, then I'll just go to somebody else and it's you're positioned wrong right from the start. So again, unless you're gonna charge a low amount just to get some initial clients, it's not the best place to advertise. The best place to advertise is getting in front of people where you can seem like you're special and therefore you have pricing power. So with that said, if you're just starting out doing PPC though, you work on selling and working underneath someone who knows how to do it already, it's much easier that way. I personally got a job, a advertising agency for a while before I ever started this agency so I could just learn the ins and outs of how the sales process works, how you do the onboarding, and then I just quit and started my own agency. What I recommend for you to do, I mean, you don't have to do that. You can figure it out all the, the, you know, the hard way, if you will, but it's you get to learn for free exactly how to run an agency yourself. And just as a quick note, you can run an agency or you can do freelancing. If you do freelancing, what I'll let you know up front is it's mainly that at least if you're going to get consistent work, it's going to be other agencies outsourcing to you and they're not going to want to pay you more than like 30 bucks an hour to do the work. So you're always going to work for crappy pay, which that may sound good at, at first, but then when you realize, you know, you're not getting benefits, you have a pay super high tax rates, you know, you're not get it's not worth it at the end of the day, or you get an in company that's not an agency hiring you uh, outsourcing like that, and but they only want to hire you for like five hours or 10 hours a month. And then you have it end up juggling all these clients for tiny amounts of money that they only want to use you like, uh, you're like one time use, and they're going to use you for a bit of time, and then they're going to get rid of you. Take it from me, it's not worth it. The better thing to, to start an agency so that when they stay, when they get on board with you, they want to stay with you and you're not going to be seen as a, like a commodity anymore. But if you get a job at an agency for a little bit, you'll see their onboarding process 
and all that. And so to know how to manage it and end, or you can do trial and error, or if you have a question, you can leave a comment in the comment section. I can tell you about individual little things that you may want to know about. But once you get your hands on the actual operational side, then you're good to go. Because the sales side, how to get the client, I can tell you just already on this video here how we did it. And you can just replicate this for yourself. This is tried, or, tried and true. This same stuff I started doing nine years ago. We've been around 10, just over 10 years now as an agent. Still works to this day just fine. Once you understand how to do the operational side, which is not that hard to figure out, then you're gonna find one niche that you wanna get into and then start pitching the results for that niche that you can get to all the other people in that niche, whether that be plumbing services, whether that be crime scene cleanup services, find a niche or e-commerce if you want. Working at the agency, you could see how they run a campaign successfully for one company within a niche then you just take whatever that worked for that company and sell those results to all the other companies in that niche. And the reason why that's important, especially when you're starting out, is because nowadays clients do not care if you have niche experience or you got a Google certification, all that crap. The last time somebody asked me if I had a Google certification was like five years ago. Nobody cares about that anymore. All they care about, you know, frankly, a lot of people will just go ahead and they'll hire who their friend hires. If they don't have that reference, all they really care about is, do you have a name in the space already? Or do you have niche experience? And when I say by name, uh, you have a name in the space, you gotta be able to have knowledge, share it. The knowledge is good enough. Other people in the space are listening to you like we have on this channel here. But then in order to do that, you have to do something first. You can't just start talking about, oh, I read something on Google's blog about this feature. And that information niche is too competitive to do that. You either have to figure out how to share unique information, which comes from actually doing stuff and explaining that how it went for you, or you're not gonna have any value to the community as a whole to get people to listen to you. You build a following and then other clients wanna hire you because you're an authority in the space. So that isn't even an option for you until you've actually got clients anyway. So really your only option starting out is to pick a niche and then dive into it because clients do care, their ears perk up if they see you have niche experience already. It's natural. I have other businesses that I've run and I, that I've started or am part owners in since I started this agency, taking some of the money that we've earned and diversify. You know, if somebody came to me saying that they had niche experience doing PPC, I would still want, even though, you know, I already know pretty much everything, I would still want to know how, I would want to hire them for consulting at the very least and see if there's anything else that I don't know yet that they know. I mean, I would. Uh, it's just nobody's reached out to me saying, hey, I have you know, mailbox selling experience or whatever. And if they did, I would, like I said, I would hire them legitimately. And anybody that's smart would hire them. The reality is not, there's a lot of people as it comes to marketing, just so you're prepared. They're, what they need and should buy, they don't necessarily buy. What they want is lots of results, but they don't want to pay for them. So they want to be cheap about what they're going to pay you to get results. As a result, you can't sell to them. And if they, by the way, weren't cheap, they probably already found somebody who can get them results already and they wouldn't be available to you. It's like finding a girlfriend or a boyfriend that's worth a damn because the good ones are already taken. So the good clients are taken before you got to them. And really what it is, is you got to work with 10 clients to find one that was really, really good that you're, is going to die with you and going to last for 10 years. And the other nine are going to not, you know, they're not going to be like that. And you bring in 10 to find one really, really solid one. And then you bring on, and then the other nine last maybe between three months and, you know, the next five years and they're going to fall off. And then you bring on 10 more as, you know, and then you that you have that one really solid one, and then you build up the really, really solid ones that way, and half of your profit is from the one out of 10. But that's the way that it is in any B2B related service. You bring in 10 clients, one's good, ideal. The other nine, couple of them are might be okay, the other seven, and then you bring on 10 more. The main reason for that is, is you just gotta also realize, get it through your head up front, just because somebody didn't get re good results at what you do, there's going back to what I was saying before, there's so much stuff involved in making PPC work. It's just one component. You gotta know how to sell. You gotta know how to do upsells, cross-sells. You gotta understand how to keep things in stock, money management, 
the client you have as a business owner, the PPZ isn't going to work. And therefore, and if everybody was a good business owner, everybody would be rich. There's a reason why 90% of businesses fail. And more than anything, it's just based upon that business owner's experience, how smart they are, how clever they are, how much balls they have. And if you get with a business owner who doesn't know anything, it's not going to work. So you're bringing the 10 on to find that one really, really, really smart business owner who does everything else perfect. You're the icing on the cake, frankly. And so really, if it's going to work with the client long term, it's more about the client than it is about you, frankly. And also because they were a good business owner, a good operator, they figured out how to offer something that the market wasn't offering yet. They found how to how to make the product better than the market or offer it cheaper, which is what you should be doing as a business owner. But so many people just want to be me too guy. Sell, I'll also sell cremation urns. What are you doing that's different? Uh, I don't know. And then they want you to solve all their problems just through the marketing. You can be, you can do okay that way, but it's not going to fix everything. You know, ultimately, if 10 other people are selling the same exact thing, how the hell through the marketing are you going to position yourself as somebody that everybody should go to? You can talk it up all you want. The real, real good results. I can tell you from the experience doing this last, the last 10 years. The people that end up making millions of dollars, they still have something unique about what they're selling that other people don't sell to differentiate them. Whether they have a 25 year warranty on their product, nobody else has that. Whether you have, it was made in the USA, nobody else has that. And so just wanted to let you know about that lesson up front. Now, going to the actual topic at hand here about how to actually get the clients. I'm gonna tell you the strategy we use to build up the firm. Before I do that, if you want coaching, on how to do the operational side or on doing this or run PPC ads for your agency or anything like that, or to help you with your client's work, reach out to me at guaranteepppc.com. I offer coaching slash consulting to our clients. Also, if you have clients that you wanna refer uh, to us to get started, which you can, we've had people that do that and then they watch what we're doing and then from that, they know how to do it for their clients, which is where we're here work underneath somebody who already knows how to get the results ready. It's much easier to do that than trying to figure it out all for yourself. We've got people that have done that, taking our campaign and then go to town selling it. And that's a much easier way to go. So anyway, if you want to reach out to me, I I offer everybody a free consultation that comes in. uh, So I'd be happy to hear from you. We also sell ad templates. If you want a finished, polished PPC campaign that gets great profitable results already, we can sell it to you outright like that. And then you just sell that we sell the ad template, landing page template, campaign template, all of it uh, that works for a certain niche. And we could tell you the results you'd get with it up front. And you just got to copy paste it and install it into your accounts for your clients and you're done. Uh, we worked in over a hundred niche markets in the last 10 years. So the chances are decent. We've got something that'll just work for you that you'll want to sell. So I just wanted to point that out as well. And if you have any, you know, like I said, one-off questions about of what I'm talking about here or in general, starting an agency, PPC marketing related questions, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a question or comment on this channel. But getting to the meat of this, okay? So what you do, once you have a template that you got from us or you got from somebody else, you got really good results from a client, then what you do is you build a list of all the email addresses, phone numbers, whatever, address, physical address, email, phone number, name of the owner, or direct at least a C level or director at the company. And then you start contacting them, explaining that you've worked with somebody else in the space, you've gotten XYZ results, and you'd like to work with them as well. Ideally, you know, obviously if they're competitors, you you know, you're gonna have to explain that we aren't working with them anymore. They just hired us for a sh- short time. But that's in general the pitch. You say, I have ex- you literally in your email to these people, you say, I have experience in your niche. Here's the results that I was able to get there. 20 bucks per lead, 600% RORAS. You get specific because the more specific you are, the more believable what you're saying is. And then they're just gonna basically, it's very, you made it very simple for them. Oh, they're getting 600% RORAS. I'm only getting 300%. I wanna talk to this guy. And then you get, and that's all there is to it. Now, that said, people are skeptical because they're getting a lot of times five, 10 different pitches a week from different agencies to stand out, that will make you stand out a lot. But if you really wanna stand out and get your cost per lead down considerably from this, then you gotta do what we did, which is to offer a free trial. 
a lot of people do, scoff. They don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to, you know, because they're not, uns- they're not sure about getting the results. But you offer them a free trial at the beginning. It shows good faith that, hey, if something doesn't work out the way that I'm saying here, then I'll at least take a hit as well. So you know I'm not just, because that's really what it is more than anything. How do you know as a person that is being pitched that you're not lying to me about the cost per lead? You don't, unless you're going to say, if you don't get to that cost per lead, I won't charge you. And if you have got to that cost per lead before legitimately, why wouldn't you guarantee that if it's going to bring you from a $1,500 lead cost to a $500 lead cost, which is literally what this will do. Now, when we started out our agency, we would just say, we will work for free and then you can pay us if you like working with us. And we did that for a while and that didn't work great. So we went ahead and we had an agreement that said, if we got you to X, Y, Z cost per lead and at least this many leads on this much budget within a certain time frame, maximum time frame, we'll take this much per month for the next 12 months. To know that we had a real serious client who actually wanted to work with an agency, we could show them that we are effective. And we did that for a long time. Then we went ahead and we said, we did that, but we also asked for a deposit up front because what people would do is, and this is just part of human nature, we would get them the results. It's time to pay up. We have to charge a lot because, you know, when you offer free services like that for a few months, you got to charge a lot when you do start charging to make up for all that, which is why people don't like a guarantee in the first place because you got to charge double to do that kind of thing, literally or legitimately. We would have, we would charge like four grand a month because we're offering six months of free work at the beginning to get to a certain minimum point. We can't charge two anymore. And they're all happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will pay you that if you can do X, Y, Z. You get them the results. It's time to pay up. They're pissed. Why are they pissed? Because they were used to getting it free. And anybody who's gotten something for free, they think the value of that is free. That's just the way people think. I don't think that way, but this is what we found majority people think. Prove to actually what the deposit does is it gets somebody to see if they really would actually want to hire a PPC person versus think they like the idea of it, not proving it with putting money on the table and then getting to the end of this thing and then realizing then when they finally ask for the money, they got to force themselves to say, do I value PPC services? And most of the time the answer is no. Otherwise they would have hired somebody for PPC services before you got to them. And we started out with doing a 10% deposit. Then we went to a 20% deposit where we're at today. That seems to work fine. That works great. So what you do is you say, okay, if you want a guarantee for me, I will give you the free service to get you to a certain point. As long as you know and agree that we're going to work together for at least 12 months after that point, it's going to be immediate kick in. It's not, maybe we'll work together. If we get you these results, immediately there's going to be a 12 month pay period that we're going to keep helping you. And that's how it is. And then of that 12 month pay, we want 20% of that, that we were going to get in the future right up front. And if we don't get you the results, we'll refund the 20%. If we do get the results, we'll apply it to the first couple months invoices. If you do that, then it forces the person to think, do I value PPC services or not? No. Okay. Well, I'm not going to pay them no deposit. And it gets what they would have had to decide later mentally right up front. So anyway, that's what we do. We still are doing a guarantee like that, but it allows you to then have in your email, your phone pitch, all the ways that you're going to contact these business owners in the niche you target with a really good pitch. We can get you great results. Here's the results. Here's the guy we work with, by the way. You want to mention, you want to actually name drop because that works way, 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 way better. We'll work for free until you get to a certain minimum point in your results, which a lot of guys are going to want to say, well, how do I know you're not going to get me results? And then later on, you don't get me those results. The reality is nobody else is offering a guarantee. So if you don't, you know, the initial trial is just a trial. That's all it is. It's not guaranteed profit forever because the reason for that, by the way, is because it happens in their business. Their website goes down. The tracking breaks because some dummy deleted it on accident. Something's going to happen at some point and then the tracking data is going to get screwed up. And then what happens then? You don't get paid that month. You're operating on thin margins. You can't have that happen. Make a gamble that short term nothing happens, but you can't just make that gamble forever ongoing for 10 years and assume nothing's going to happen. And you got to get paid every month to make your business work. With that said, if you don't offer the guarantee, what you're going to end up paying is like 1500 bucks a lead in terms of the cost of what it costs to develop the leads, that is doing the, the list building, in terms of what it costs to send the, the physical letter out in the mail, 
which we've used handwritten letters to do that because that really shows it's not spam. And you may say, oh, that sounds expensive, but you send out 500 letters, you're gonna get one reply and there's where your 500 bucks a lead is. That is if you also offer the free trial, literally you'll get three times more responses with the free trial added to your pitch on the letter than not, not having the free trial. But once you have the list of owners that you're gonna contact, you contact them every way possible. You email them, you cold call them. You can also do voicemail drops, uh, messaging there. You do physical mail out to them. You also take their email addresses and you upload them to AdRoll and you have banner ads show up for them so that they've seen your branding before they got the call, which makes it, there's something called omni-channel marketing. Advertise to somebody in multiple places, it all will work better individually that all of it's going at once than if they just saw that one thing by itself. When they see something here, and then later on they see an ad over here, this ad's gonna work better than what it would otherwise if they didn't see this ad here. So they start seeing you all the time, and then eventually they're like, okay, fine, I'll do a meeting with you, and then you got him. So you gotta have some money to get this going. That said, okay, it does pay, and it does sound like it's expensive per lead. If you're wondering the closing rate on this, you'll close about 10% of your leads that you develop that way, but it pays because if that is, if you actually can get good results, you should be able to have a client that's worth $50,000. Now, you obviously don't get that all right away. You get it in little chunks at a time monthly, and the average over the next two years, you're gonna get that money in. So you have to pay up front for all your leads, get the client, do all the work, and you finally got your return. So because of that, because the time it takes from the time you spend on the marketing to the time you get the money back, being years, literally, you can't scale your operation that fast. You gotta get a client, use that most of the money that you earned in terms of profit from that client to do a bit more outreach and a bit more and a bit more and a bit more. And eventually you're gonna tap out that niche and you're gonna have to do another niche and another niche and another niche and then just keep going with it. Or if you don't, the, the alternate option you have is to stay in one niche offer a suite of services. I thought about doing this, but we didn't do it, where you're offering web design and hosting, you're offering social media management to that niche, and then you start building an email list and become an authority in that niche so that you start talking about online marketing stuff in that niche you can go that route. But if you're just doing PPC, it's not gonna be enough to just target one niche to, to run, a, at least if you're trying to do a seven-figure agency, at least, it's not enough. You're gonna have to have multiple niches and uh, that's it that you know there's just not enough people that are going to hire you if there's if there is 3000 people in your niche that you pick you can sell at, and that is over long term periods of time 30 of them like 1% and that's not going to sustain you as an agency so you start another niche and another anyway that is when you're paying 500 a lead and you're paying then as a result of that 5,000 a deal and you're expecting 50,000 in revenue if you're charging two grand a month over the next two years, that's a 10 to one return that's sustainable. You just need to have some money up front to spend. What most people do that are starting out are gonna try to go cheap and they may just email and then that's it or whatever and you could do that. It's just a lot harder to get a response, take it from me, email versus the mail, the, the letter. Why? Because people see email as spam automatically versus a letter. They get that. They've only gotten one letter in the last two weeks, especially when it's handwritten. You actually handwrite the address on the outside. You sign the letter on the inside with all of it and uh, you get results um, because it looks personalized and so forth. You know, frankly, I shouldn't be <laughs> giving all the details about this because uh we do use some of this still to this day, but you know, as the YouTube channel gets bigger, then um, we're not we're doing not nowadays we're not doing as much of it, if you will. But that is how you, more than anything, in my opinion, how to develop leads for a PPC agency. With all that said, if you want to learn how to do the best results for clients, you get them to stay on average of two years, which is where the money comes in, where the real money comes in. Study this channel, subscribe to this channel. I give you all the information about what works and what doesn't work, managing dozens of different ad accounts on an ongoing basis and have done it for years. And I'm doing the, the strategy for all the accounts still. That's why we're able to offer a guarantee, by the way. There's no better place to a person to study.
about what really works. Most of the other channels on YouTube are people, they are trying to sell courses, they ain't running no ads. They're not managing no ads or they manage a couple ads and that's not enough experience to truly know what percentage of the time a certain strategy will work, yada yada. You should also check out my blog if you haven't already. My blog is at guaranteedppc.com slash blog. The blog has step-by-step -step instructions of certain campaigns that we use to guarantee results with, with screenshots, with everything you need to use them. You can check that out as well. Most of the people who like the channel that check out the blog actually even like it even more. But with that said, I think I pretty much told you as much as I can tell you about really when it comes to running a PPC agency, you become an authority or you do you target a niche or you run PPC ads for like on Google search. Technically, this is another one where you can run social media ads, okay? But even that, if that's gonna work, you have to pick a niche as well. And that niche might simply be uh, people who use WordPress websites. You're a WordPress website PPC agency. I know that's kind of like a weird matchup, if you will, but you gotta pick a niche does not seem, otherwise it's like, why hire you? There's 50 million companies that do what you do. And you can run a funnel that way. That's actually, I, I haven't done so much that, but I've seen other agencies actually do that that I've talked to. And you could go that route with it as well. Those are the four kind of like main strategies. You do outreach to people or you run ads to them. As I talked about already, either search or social or you become an authority. And the authority thing, I didn't even start making content on YouTube about what I learned at this agency until I've already started the agency and ran it for six years already and worked with 100 plus clients. You know, that basically just comes later. And I also, before I started this agency 10 years ago, I've had 10 years of experience running ads for websites that I've ran in the automotive space and also working for an agency for a while, like I mentioned earlier, before I ever got to making this channel. Why, you gotta have that kind of level of knowledge to add to what's already out there. There's so much generic advice, nobody cares about it anymore. You're wasting your time offering that. But in the end, if you go ahead and you get clients the hard way, that like I talked about, or you try to run some like social media ads to them, which you can get leads for about a hundred bucks a pop doing things the way that I said on Facebook and sell to people that way, which I've seen that works once you pick a niche, then eventually you'll be able to become the authority. And then once you're the authority, people just come to you naturally. That should be the end result and goal. Either they saw that you're big online or you got a referral and then you're not selling anybody anymore. You're just servicing people that want to work with you. Anyway, with that said, hopefully that information really helps you. It's not easy to build this up given that the value of a client doesn't come in all at once. You gotta really know how to get results and serve somebody well, give them good customer service in order to make the numbers work of the amount of effort it takes to get a client, to keep them long enough to make your effort that you have to invest up front to get them pay off. But if you go ahead and you're good at what you do, it will work because there's very few people who either know what they're doing when it comes to PPC slash a lot of people who just don't care if, you get, if their clients get results at all. And for every 10 people who are offering PPC services, there's one that actually can get results because they know how and they give enough to do the work the right way to get the results. You are rare. Every, and, and to sum this up one other way, everybody wants a PPC agency that can get results. Everybody. The only question is whether or not they believe you can offer it or not. And if you can prove that, you've got a client. That's really, it's all there is to it. So more important than anything is being able to deliver results. And then at that point, you just make sure people know that you can, and that's your ticket making it all work. Because if you can't get results, it's gonna be churning clients and churning. And I don't even think it makes money anymore, frankly. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense. I'll see you on the next one. Remember when I said PPC ads was important during this video? Well, this video here tells you how to do it.